province is investing $250,000 to the robotic program at Acadia for their uh, work over the next five years. This is an excellent program providing really wonderful opportunities for our students. Through the eyes of my own elementary age sons, I saw the many benefits of hands-on learning about science, technology, engineering and mathematics through the LEGO NXT Mindstorm robots as an extracurricular activity. I watched with intrigue as they learned important science concepts, mathematical formulas, equations, synthesis and presentation skills, as well as the basic principles of the engineering process in an authentic problem-based challenge, they were learning important skills, but felt as though they were simply playing with robots because they were engaged and challenged. Quite simply, they were empowered with their own learning. We discovered that the language of robotics truly was universal. Robotics has allowed us to bridge both cultural and language gaps through hands-on STEM learning opportunities, where students are becoming competent risk takers, and are empowered, we can affect change within our education system. And we'll continue to de demonstrate the importance of robotics education within the public school system. We know that we cannot work any harder than we already are, but we can learn to work differently to ensure student success and a prosperous future for Nova Scotia. Using the NXT robots in the classroom is not meant to be an add-on. The robots are meant to enrich and infuse hands-on science and math learning in an authentic context to engage and captivate learners while delivering the curriculum. And all you have to do is talk to any one of these students and you can see it in living proof. Thank you for your support. I'm really, really proud of Acadia. I think that Acadia uh, and the, the team at Acadia with the robotics uh, have been doing a really good job. Not only do we have the, the group at Acadia, but we have, uh, I know that we have Michelin and a number of uh, key organizations and businesses in Nova Scotia that have a vested interest in making sure that we have uh, excited and knowledgeable students. And I know Michelin is very supportive uh, and they're here in the Annapolis Valley in Acadia. And now all of our students all across Nova Scotia will be able to benefit uh, from the robotic program. Uh, our ultimate goal here is to hopefully engage as many children as we can in the province. So it's not 300 kids, 400 kids, it's more like, you know, 30,000, 40,000 kids doing these types of, types of things. Uh, you know, embedded more and more increasingly in the school system, every opportunity, summer camps, that they might be able to take advantage of. Get them to the, get them to the point where there is as much interest as, in this as there may be in other areas of like sports and athletics from an extracurricular perspective, but it's foundations you know, embedded within the, within the school system. I think really that's the end game here. This is, becomes something that's incorporated within the educational system. Sponsor this since 2005. And what's key is this really engages students, uh, minorities, at having fun using technology because the technology they use here become the scientists and the engineers for us in the future. This year are senior solutions. And so Michelin, like the schools, we want to help people in the community be involved. And what a great way to be involved is in the robotics program. And you can make a robot do a move and have fun with it. It's exciting. You know, you get the you get the instantaneous gratification. This worked. I figured it out. I learned how to program it. it it's exciting. And when you have education, science, engineering merging together, that's what's exciting. I really like uh, what a student said last year about robotics. They said robotics make them think, makes the student think because they make the robots think. So I like the, this, out of the words of the, one of the students, this is such a key thing, is that students are thinking about how to use the robotics and then using that uh, power of their thoughts and the teamwork and the work to get to that to make the robotics work, to solve a world problem. So it's authentic learning. So students are learning math, they're learning science, they're learning computer programming. They're, they have to work in a team. That's key to this, uh, the working as a team. And the other thing is this is authentic learning. Uh, children are actually at a very young age learning how to meet the needs of uh, our society, what we need to do around food handling, how to move packages, uh, and those are just some of the things that I've seen uh, the students uh, do uh, at the robotic uh, competition.